Sorusu soru var mı lan? Sor namaz kara dur. Hazır sor namaz dey. Alo. Good evening everyone. I think I'm audible. Hello. Hello everyone, do you hear me? Can you write? Okay, Sundar Lama, thank you. Well, so let's begin our today's class. So yesterday we discussed about uh, the teaching speaking skill and some of the possible questions under it we just discussed. And I, I think I provided some questions is home assignments. If you have practiced those questions, so please raise your hand. I will unmute you so that you can present in the class. Have you done so far? Anybody? If you have practiced the question, last question, question number five was given there. So let's start. Okay, I can see here. Hari Singh, who is this Redmi 10? Write your real name. I actually unmute only for those who come with their real name. So I can see GL Creation, Redmi 10. We do not recognize you. Come up with your real ID, okay? Real name. So Hari Singh or Sankalpa Bhusal or somebody is there. Well, Hari Singh, I'll unmute. Hari Singh. So good evening, Hari sir. Good, good evening, sir. Well, we cannot see you. Have you done that last question? Question number five. Yes, sir, I have done sir. last question. Well, will you open your video and share? Good. Why are you, why you mute? Yes, sir.
हेलो हेलो सर यो प्राबी को सेकंड पेपर को क्लास हो तो नो हेलो सर तो अंकल पभुशाल Good evening, sir. Good evening. Have you done? Yes, sir. I have done question number five. I have tried. Well, yes, sir. the last question of yes. yesterday yes, is yes, yes, yes. Please read out the question as well. Okay, sir. The question goes like this. What is speaking skills? Do you think speaking skills is necessary to develop? How dialogue can be used for teaching speaking? Mention the classroom process to employ dialogue as an activity. Great. Yes, sir. Can I present my answer, sir? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, sir. My answer goes like this. Speaking is one of the most significant skills in the acquisition of new language among four language skills. It is productive skill, so it needs to come out with a lot of practice and presentation of language to enhance this skill. Speaking is the ability to express the language in order to provide meaning as well as making it more effective. As far as I'm concerned, speaking skill is necessary to develop oral interactions. To develop oral interactions are often indivisible from the learning and teaching activities of an English task. Speaking activities can be well integrated into any listening, reading, or writing tasks to support the development of different language skills. Conducting speaking activities can help students to improve their fluency and communication skills. A wide range of speaking activities should be conducted to develop students' speaking skills. Various methods can be applied for this skill among dialogue. Deliberation is one of the most interesting and interacting for students to get engaged. To conduct this activity, the teacher remains as facilitator or supporter. In course of practicing speaking activity, the students sometimes get lost. They cannot think what to say next and they lose fluency. So teacher have to take them back to their track. The following steps can be followed for teaching speaking. The teacher divides the students in different group pair or whole classroom discussion then the teacher provides a situation and their role to play this requires students to take on the role of someone other than themselves they may need to imagine themselves in a real world context and have to use appropriate language to suit the context. After the completion of the activity, feedback or information is given to the students about how good or useful the work they have done. The teacher needs to work as feedback provider for better learning. This must sir. Uh, well, Sankalpa, I should... Subrata, or I, I couldn't pronounce it clearly. Sankalpa Subrata. Okay. So, uh, ma'am, where are you from? I'm from uh, Pokhara, but uh, now I'm in Rukum West. Oh, Rukum West. You're working station there? Yes, I'm working here. So, well, uh, thank you for presenting uh, the beautiful answer. So, while listening to Hello, you... Sir. Uh, for that uh, question. Audible? Hello. It's not good. If you are listening to us, um, your answer uh, seems uh, quite relevant to the questions. I mean, you have started with the, uh, I mean, specific questions, and you have given justification for adopting speaking, uh, I mean, um, the question it all about. Uh, so, teaching 
I mean, using speaking is necessary. You have given uh, justification there why it is necessary in a beautiful way. So uh, really it is a wonderful answer at the beginning for both question. And may, how this dialogue can be employed in the classroom, um, which uh, I found like uh, in your answer, you have given basically the suggestion rather than the practical ideas how you could apply. So you have given suggestion only, but uh, what is, uh, strategies you follow is missing there. So first two part of the question you have done wonderful. Uh, but the, the last part, uh, how the dialogue uh, can be employed practically. So for this question only, your suggestions are uh, beautifully crafted. I appreciate for that. But uh, while talking about the practical innovative point of view, so few examples are required there, how you can apply this dialogue as a practical way. So some experts are also needed there. You need to create some dialogue kind of things, example, how someone speaks and how other responses, this kind of dialogue, you need to create one small sample of dialogue as well there. And the practical exploration is required. You have given suggestion. Um, suggestion is also needed, but rather suggestion, you need to become more specific with the pedagogic uh, concepts so that you can explore your practical ideas there. So those practical ideas will explore, will help you to secure good marks. Um, anyway, improve those areas. Um, for example, what do you do at the first and what do you do in the second stage or third stage? I mean, at the uh, how you start your class and how you employ the dialogue, how you engage your students practically with the dialogue and how you can give suggestion. It's better to give practical ideas. Um, in your answer for this, employing dialogue lacks one example of dialogue, how uh, one small excerpt can be used and other um, practical stepwise procedures are required. This is the suggestion for it. once uh, first two parts of the question. Uh, it's a wonderful don't do anything. This is enough, but only for the last part, you need to revise once. Is that okay, ma'am? Are you, are you with me, listening to me? Yes, sir. Well, I'm with so, I will follow your well, thank you. Thank you. I will do this. So, hope yes, you will revise yes. once and you, you, I think you already understood the way of <coughs> presenting. Yes, sir. I got it. Thank you so much. Well, let's begin. Some of uh, the students are asking, sir, is this the Prabi class or primary class? No, it's a secondary class only for English uh, second paper. Uh, please uh, be updated with uh, your links and ID password given there on the, um, I mean, uh, whether it is provided through different mediums, maybe from Viver or uh, so with other links. So let's discuss with those questions. Uh, I mean, five different questions. So let me start with those questions based on this, I mean, on the speaking topic. So there were four questions. I didn't find uh, other raising hands a lot. And I had given only one question. So, so those were the question. How do you teach speaking skill in secondary level? Prepare a sample of activity for teaching speaking skill. The next question was uh, teaching speaking skill involves many different activities. Uh, uh, mention some major activities that can be used while teaching speaking and explain any three activities of teaching speaking with example examples. Number third question is related to uh, material. What kind of teaching materials do you use? or apply for teaching speaking, what problems of teaching speakings are prevailing in the context of Nepal, what strategies do you apply to overcome such problems? And the uh, next question was, 
Uh, I mean, they, these are the possible question on teaching speaking. So which uh, it was displayed yesterday and I uh, had given for everyone to practice for only one question, the last question. So this is all about the principle of teaching speaking. And do you think the sub skill of speaking required for teaching speaking? Justify your answer with example. Uh, this means how do you use sub skills of speaking in the classroom? This is also the pedagogical part. So, and how, what is speaking skill? Do you think speaking skill is necessary to develop? How dialogue can be used for teaching speaking? Mention the classroom process to employ dialogue as an activity. So, mention the classroom process, which um, recently Ma'am was presenting answer of this question. So some others were also raising hands, um, but uh, due to time limit, I didn't ask others to present. Now let's go and discuss and practice how to write answer to all those five different questions. So we can complete speaking today. We'll begin reading from tomorrow. Is that okay? If you have any concern queries at the beginning, you can accept me. Otherwise, I'll directly go with the uh, question answer writing process for all those five questions. Hello, everyone. Are you there? Do you have any question? Where are you? Uh, so go Shankar Mahato. So can you can you tell which class is sir? Which class is this sir? I uh, still confused. This is secondary level English class. Still confused. Well, let's start the question answer. Please uh, write whether my screen is visible to you or not. Sorry, sir, same line for privacy also. Mm, the rest of the thing, please consult with Guru Mantra Academy. So I have no idea about uh, how others' links are there. See, now this question was the first question yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, look at here. If this question is asked, first of all, how do you teach speaking skill in secondary level? I mean, you can see uh, the max weight is for this question. Uh, it is uh, about a question which you taught yesterday. Confused, but no question, but I don't know about question. So um, how do you teach speaking skill in secondary level? This is for five marks and the next so prepare so please be with this Tirai Ubika. See, means uh, what I was talking about first, if this question is asked to you, what do you have to do? You begin your answer. Begin your answer with first part. First part, how do you teach? Means this question is asking to explore some practical pedagogical ideas. 
So as a teacher, when you go into the classroom, how do you teach? This question is um, indirectly trying to um, bring uh, the answer from uh, the candidate. So what you need to do is first explore some of the ideas like how to teach speaking skills to the students of secondary level means first begin your answer with the role of teacher in the classroom. So begin your answer with the role of teacher. Means uh, how it can be conducted so practically. So that you are going to share. So for this, at first you need to write the role of teacher. And the second part is asking you about to prepare one activity, designing one activity designing one activity. See, this is the question. And many of you um, so may have already got. See, look at here. Uh, if you start writing answer for this question, how do you teach speaking? So start your answer directly writing about the role of the teacher. So, your answer should be based on the practical ideas. So while teaching speaking, teacher has to engage students with the different activities or what is the principle of the teacher in the classroom while teaching speaking that you need to explore. So that first of all, teacher has to uh, adopt different, uh, uh, let's say strategies for teaching speaking like Teacher has to engage students into different uh, interactions. So, part and participations, equal participation is necessary. Interaction is necessary. So, what do you have to write there? Classroom interaction. Classroom interaction. This is what you need to write classroom interaction. Similarly, Equal, equal participation. Equal participation is necessary while writing answer for the first part, what things you are you need to write, I'm just sharing. Equal participation. Equal participation means everyone gets opportunity to involve in the speaking uh, activities. Uh, similarly, teacher has to adopt a communicative language teaching. Teacher has to Adopt communicative language teaching. Communicative language teaching. See. Similarly, teacher has to bring some real life, uh, real life experiences. Connecting. Um, I mean, what teacher has to do means this is the role of the teacher when teacher enters into the classroom for teaching speaking. First of all, teacher has to create the environment. So what teacher has to do? So teacher has to think always that student must speak. So teacher encourages, teacher encourages students to actively actively participate in speaking activities. See, teacher needs to know. Teacher, or you can write he or see, needs to Pay close attention, close attention towards, please close attention towards the, towards the phenomenon, phenomenon of second or foreign language, foreign language, teaching context. So teacher has to create the context and in what situation 
the language is being used, in which context it is being, I mean, in the context of Nepal, it is a foreign language context. So we need to understand. So for teaching ELT, for some of teacher, it is, uh, I mean, first language. So for others, so we need to understand for what context it is uh, being used. And next part, like, teacher has to use different activities. Activities best on the student's interest, interest and level of linguistic, linguistics exposure or linguistics, uh, let's say expression. So teachers should not forget. So when we are going to teach speaking, teacher needs to always uh, be ready to, without understanding the ground reality, we cannot, I mean, our level of students, their interests, especially their level of language exposure or expression, linguistic expression level we need to identify. And the activities, whatever we apply or employ in the classroom should be best on their level. Then only we can bring the productive outcome. Otherwise, our teaching may not be that kind of fruitful or meaningful. So we have to consider always those uh, these kind of uh, principles or role of the teacher. First, include those points and while teaching, right? Communicative language teaching, real life experiences. So what things, experiences? I mean, all these activities should be connected with the real life experiences. You need to write those terminologies in your answer or connect your answer based on these realities. Next part is, you know, like, uh, so teacher has to, teacher has to provide uh, structure, structure or exponents, exponents for speaking, speaking in advance. So what kind of language structure the students, uh, they, they have to use um, so teacher has to provide those, uh, um, let's say, underlining structures or linguistic exponents or, yes, uh, before conducting activities. So if our students are familiar or they are already um, acquainted with the structure or these underlining uh, the exponents or structure of language, uh, they can use or teacher has to teach teach some teacher has to teach teach some some let's say vocabulary vocabulary related items treatise vocabulary means before involving students into actual activities teacher has to involve students into different um, I mean, teacher has to provide some vocabularies and their meanings or their uh, contextual use so that students will have no any problem. So these are the things you need to include at the beginning. So for the first part, I'm just helping you how to write only. So I mean, like I'm not writing all answer because it takes much time, remember? So, but I'm providing, I mean, concrete ideas how to develop your answer for, I mean, for the first part you can write. And similarly, it is the role of the teacher. First start with the role of the teacher, what teacher has to do, but this is not sufficient because how do you teach means pedagogical part is not explored. So you need to now, so different pedagogical means explore some, write some, some um, techniques, write some techniques, write some teaching techniques. Some teaching techniques or 
teaching speaking. C, you can make a list of them um, shortly. For example, storytelling, right? Storytelling, picture describing, what are the different activities we can apply or employ for teaching speaking? So picture description, our information gap activity, right? A study we discussed. So you can make a list of all. So a teacher can apply all these. And simply uh, you make a list of them and the teacher can apply those activities in this way. So simply you can write the process there. Uh, make a list of all those activities. And you can jump for the second part of the question. This is pre preparing a sample. Designing a sample means you have, I have given a format for you. Always design a activity means which activity you are going to employ. Remember always whatever, I mean, there are different list of activities. Think anyone, but you are not going to explain that. So prepare a sample of activity means you need to employ a particular structure, particular structure right? Particular structure. What does the particular structure mean? Remember. Um, see, I have given already an outline. So simply write warm up activity. Think all, already before writing answer which you are going to what activity or which activity you are going to apply and think about one of activities here. What you are going to do, small activity related to the, so the whole classroom process. You explain there and number B is a procedure. It is a stepwise process. So what do you do at first, right? So use this kind of language, especially Teacher, um, teacher brings one sample of speaking text, speaking, let's say, dialogue or any text, text and displays, displays, something like that. What do you do practically? You, you will write, how do you design an activity means? It's, a, it's not the firm, uh, format of lesson plan, but how you employ it, you can write. So use this kind of language, or you can write in um, instructional, uh, I mean, imperative form also. So similarly, he divides the students, divides the students into pairs or in group, how you are trying to involve them in his speaking. Pairs or groups, write only one. And what activities you are going to give them. So in this way, simply you make a, I mean, your writing answer for this particular question involves those process. And so write at least seven, eight steps don't make it longer because it in, uh, consists five marks only, but there should be practical ideas and it should be relevant with the question. Means think of any one activity, you are not going to write the name of the activity directly. You will write an activity right at the top and you follow this format. Your first warm up activity means shortly. For example, so what warm up activity involves? So warm up activity means just two, three, five minutes activity we up employ in the classroom. So connecting to any of the uh, whole classroom activities, what we are doing, this is called warm up activity. So we just write, for example, if we are, so talking about uh, today's uh, topic is about speaking. And let's think it's speaking is about uh, Mm, students are speaking about mm, cultural heritage, for example, and what is culture or what is cultural heritage. Sometimes we ask students or if it's related to language function. So, um, for example, it's all about 
mm, let's write expressing ability expressing ability if it is so we can write anyone expressing ability if it is i mean we do not write this one and directly what we do is like we ask the student what what can you do what can you do or what could you do what could you do see i mean students they have to use uh, i can i could right so i mean uh, they are using some language uh, exponents uh, related to expressing uh, this ability so we simply ask students uh, so this warm up activity is activating students it is a kind of uh, a preparatory stage or sometime we just facilitate how far my students have learned and i need to support them so teacher has to always think um, that's why so this procedure is the stepwise process we need to connect in this way like without explaining you do not understand so uh, i think how many of you understood how to write answer for this question design activity and sample of activity are the same designing activity and sample activity are the same yes very good question Dilip. right can you display the pictures and ask some question exactly you can do Good the idea sir jutsna gautam i mean this is the way of writing answer if you go through the uh, first of all, start if this question is asked, whether this question can be about teaching speaking or teaching reading or writing or listening, whatever. So the process is same, but our activity, what we do are different relating to the particular skill. Uh, see, first you need to write the role of teacher, what teacher has to do for teaching speaking and what different pedagogical um, techniques or strategies teacher has to apply. You need to show all for the first part of the question, design one activity and what language testing tool is also necessary sometime if you have time, language testing tool. One language testing tool. What does this mean, sir? Means one exercise, one exercise. I mean, one speaking speaking exercise one exercise you can simply show an example so fine uh, at the end so if you just employ in your process it should be vividly uh, i mean linked with the activity which activity you are involving during the classroom or after class is a home assignment it is up to you Right, there is no hard and fast rule that it should be in that. So, but at least there should be linkage of this. Um, I think you got an idea. Now let me come to. I mean, I have the answer uh, already. So, but you need to understand how to write answer. That's why I took a bit long time for facilitating you. Shortly, look at here. What do we need to do. See, uh, the answer is here. Hello, everyone. If you have any confusion regarding to these steps, please. I think for the first part, everyone writes, but for the second part, many students are confused. So don't get confused for designing an activity means think what language functions or which language, uh, I mean, under speaking, which part of language you are going to focus and how you, uh, the practical activities you are going to employ. So engage this in a stepwise process. See, this is the, uh, I mean, the answer for the first part. You can see how we can teach. Look at here, while teaching is speaking, teacher has to understand the level and interest of the students. So first it is started in this way. For teaching and speaking, how do you teach? The question has, uh, I mean, question is demanding uh, the practical ideas from the teacher. So while teaching speaking, teacher has to understand the level and interest of the student first. Then only we can employ teaching speaking accurately. All the teaching strategies should be adopted based on their label. Means whatever the activities or techniques we apply, our activities should be for which level I'm going to teach. It is 
this question is asked for secondary level. So we need to be on the zoo of secondary level students. But I need to be practical. I cannot, we cannot uh, say directly secondary level, all the students at the secondary level will have the same um, ability, means uh, context, geography uh, differs and their level varies. That's why we need to be in there too. Show that the learning becomes much fruitful. Speaking skills involves the process of organizing the thirds, expressing it with meaningful and logical sequence. So, so they need to have reason to speak. Uh, without creating the context, nobody can speak. So we as a teacher should create the environment, then only our students can involve in uh, speaking. So speaking skills involves the process. So improving speaking skills in the learner simply means developing a habit of appropriate word, sentences as per the social setting. So without having those skills, students never involve in uh, developing sp speaking so social setting audience proper word choices and situation subject matter to uh, speak so everything should be clearly mentioned so while teaching is speaking our students uh, so to our students we have to consider many technical aspects so how do you teach so first teacher has to provide maximum opportunity to students to speak maximum opportunity so teacher is not speaking but students are speaking so teachers should not forget this thing so this is the role of the teacher in the classroom so he or she has to try to involve each student in every speaking activity right for this aim practice different ways of students participation so we need to involve all these students uh, um, and we have to always see the objective set in the uh, lesson plan or in a broader perspective we need to consult with the curriculum so teacher has to reduce teacher speaking time in the class while students speaking time should be increased so he or she has to involve speaking activities not only in the class but also outside so this is the role of the teacher for supporting so the following principles should be considered while teaching speaking see what principles should we apply means teacher has to learn to speak in the second language by interacting so teacher has to use communicative language teaching and collaborative learning then only teaching speaking can be considered so teacher has to use target language in communicating means a teacher has to use target language here target language has two meanings so one target language is english language but target language means what sort of language functions we are using or what language structure or grammatical structure or what language item teacher is going to help so teacher has to be much oriented on those areas so teacher has to create environment real life environments or the conversation should be real life context so authentic activities meaningful tasks should be uh, connected so similar teacher has to provide vocabularies beforehand so students can use them and speak so teacher has to also identify the problems so some of the students are struggling for speaking and teacher has to identify for what reason they are not being able to communicate so then only they can express their language accurately. And beside this, these are the role of the teachers. Now you need to make a list of some of the activities teacher can. Beside this, while teaching is speaking, the following activities can be applied to improve the speaking skills of the students, drilling, practical tasks, drama, dialogue, communicative activities, or using pictures, card, or there were other activities, you can make a list of them, like not only this, for example, picture narrating. Picture narrating or describing picture. Information gap. Information gap activity we can employ. Or same story. Something. So make a list of all these activities. 
So I think you have got ideas. Now, next part. So I am giving much emphasis for this part is it is designing activities. People often ask about warm up, expressing ability, inability, rather than So no worry, you can write no expressing ability. This to rahni udene tai. This to rahni udene. Kiran go to Mupande, sir. Design activity can be presented at four stages, second stage, third stage. You can write in that way also. Tara stepwise process me rahni wobane. Answer check gonele sojilo unsa. These are different. This is a class video. This is picture narrating. I have shared everything in studies class. So today is a question answer writing session only. That's why. See, the following one sample activity can be applied or can be employed for teaching speaking in the classroom. So an activity for teaching speaking. So see here, topic is about traveling to mountain. So this, this can be reading a text, but on which speaking activities can be conducted. So teaching skill is speaking, time is 45 minutes, and preparation means a list of materials. We, what materials we use? Chart paper, hands out, or we can bring dialogue or pictures. So organization means what method we employ in the classroom. This is interaction. At least write this. It is not the lesson plan, so you should not write objective or all the five different components of lesson plan. It's not necessary. Or directly, if you write warm-up activities or teaching learning activities on Ruiz, this is fine. On the procedure, warm-up activities and uh, warm-up activities and uh, teaching learning procedures are there. Teaching learning procedure or teaching learning activities, these are same. So see here, it's all about, by the way, I was talking about expressing ability, it is the same. What could you do in, in your childhood? It's a kind, kind of classroom discussion, teacher uh, discusses with the students or teacher asks these questions to the students, student, uh, I mean, responses. And what can you do nowadays, see? And the learning outcomes, or sorry, teaching learning activity is tipwise. You can share in this way. So how? First, teacher brings a sample of short conversation and paste it on the wall. So teacher brings one, or it is written in a very instructional point of view or imperative form. So first, bring a sample of short, con short conversation and paste it on the wall. So teacher does that. So see, or you can write your language in this way. Teacher brings, it's better to write in this way rather than, brings a sample of search conversation and paste is paste it on the wall with the help of chart paper see the conversation this kind of conversation number conversation one play the flute write example so that your innovative ideas will be reflected in your answer play the flute ram can you ram says can you play the flute and sunita says yes i can i can even play the marble but i cannot play the violin so it is Expressing it is means those underlining structure are expressing ability. So they are generating about ability, showing express, I mean ability, what the people can do. Uh, see, C conversation means conversation is there, and teacher has to form different pairs of students and ask students to look at the conversation and practice them out, lead them. So first, what teacher has to do? So do, students cannot speak themselves. So teacher has to involve the students in speaking activities. So lead them to practice beforehand, means like they can go practice several times. Now teacher brings different action related pictures, other pictures uh, on the chart paper and displays like, Riding bicycle, playing model, swimming, or climbing trees, as a trust pictures, a teacher displays them. You don't need uh, pictures, but just write only. And now each pair, uh, I mean, each pair looks at the pictures and have similar conversation. Means like teacher provides those pictures or instructs um, speak under this um, stock, I mean, this picture. So with the similar a dialogue, creating the same dialogue that how Saram and Sunita are having conversation in the same way. So having conversation one by one for 10 minutes. So now display another sample of conversation. Another means it is uh, focusing for 
food as well. That's why give the picture to each other. Now, first they are using present tense. Can you play? And second time, uh, or if you don't have time, write only one example. This is finished for, I mean, you don't need to, I mean, it does not uh, mean that uh, you um, do not get marks uh, unless you include two different uh, conversations. No, it's not like that. One is enough. I have included two. And see, for 10 minutes, now display another sample of conversation. Give the picture uh, to each group and have similar dialogue. For example, conversation two is play volleyball. And now where A says that, were you able to play volleyball? And number uh, B says, no, I could play football. Like that, they have to speak, they have to con communicate. So ask students to work in pairs and make a list of activities that they can do using can and be able to. So, and in written form and share, the students, uh, they uh, they share in, in a first, uh, they share in, in a speaking, I mean, they're, um, sharing through dialogue later on, even they can write. So we can integrate listening, sorry, speaking and writing. So teacher can ask them to work in pairs and make a list of activities that they could do using could and was able to, right? Or share orally. They can share orally. Because they write and they are saying orally. Means when they are having conversation um, each other, they are speaking. So in the exam, if you if you don't write picture, it's also fine. But uh, creating the text is important rather than picture. So this is all about first question. Do you have any concerns, Sir Namaskar? Can you use prompts to develop speaking activities? Yes, prompts are. I mean, these are the prompts. See, she. I mean, these dialogues are also prompts examples this this is the way you can i mean you can get good marks right we are not getting recorded videos and pdfs so please send us is it i don't think so you are getting recorded videos you are not getting ideas i mean this is being recorded and this is always uploaded in the website please visit their group discussion can it be mentioned yes group discussion can can be done Ukunda, sir, yes. Could you please tell a bit about Chenny Story Group? Chenny Story, you were not there in yesterday's class so far as I know. That's why you are asking. Chenny Story. So I shared, teachers, first of all, I request students to form a circle and teacher gives uh, uh, some words and number on a bib. Uh, with this type of paper to each student standing in a circle. And the story which they have recently heard, um, I mean, they will share, but one student will share a few sentences, one or two sentences, as per the number written there in this type of paper and using the similar words which are given there in this type of paper. So it will go continuously. So first, First, one student starts, our teacher begins like many years ago, there were something like that. And then other will continue like that. The story will be completed in oral form. This is Chinese stories, right? So what videos are not uploaded? So please once talk to, I'll once, I'll one, once talk to if this is not being uploaded. I think uh, this is not actual because always videos are there. I have seen in the website as well, but let's check and verify whether they are or not. Let's go for the second part of the question. This is all about, see, what is the question? Question is about teaching and speaking skills involve, skills involve many different activities. Teaching, speaking, skill, by the way, let's write in this way. Skill involves many different activities. Mention some major activities that can be used while teaching and speaking and explain any three activities of teaching and speaking with example. See, I mean, this second per question, first of all, read whole question and underline the major thing. Like first part, it, it has a, 
I mean, this is, um, I mean, this is not a question. I mean, it's first part, teaching speaking skill involves many different activities. It is a reference, I mean, supportive uh, question, but it is not a question. Your answer should be linked with this reference. So you start with what are those different skills or uh, different activities? You need to start your answer supporting with this, but you are not to reply because it is not a question. So mention major activities that can be used while teaching speaking and explain any three activities teaching speaking. So here, what you are going to do? First, you are, first you are writing. You begin your answer with different, different activities. What different activities we, we need to involve while teaching speaking. Teaching speaking means we involve our students into different activities. For example, what they have to do? They have to interact, involve in conversation. They have to create a dialogue or pair work, group work, role play. So, or different activities they have to involve in for producing the language. For that different, it is skills different activities. So you are making a list of all the activities. First, right. So speaking does not mean that is producing the sound. Speaking must have the very logical. And um, I mean, it, it must have the reason to speak. So we need to understand who the audience are. As a speaker, a speaker always produces the sounds. So producing the sounds in a very connected space within a particular so social setting, but more than that, it is the process of exchanging ideas, emotion, thoughts. But more than that, one has to maintain the, um, I mean, pronunciation, intonation, or other suprasegmental feature within this. Then only we can convey masses appropriately. That's why it involves so many different activities which you can write. Beginning, you can write about this and make a list of some major activities that can be used for teaching and speaking. So those activities, means activities and techniques are the same. Make a list of them because uh, see the question four plus six marks, explain any three activities. After this, you need to explore three activities, means out of the list uh, you have to explore. So what activities so activities so start with the activities first you start with different activities speaking involves the different process so production productions of sounds intonation right intonation or stress, stress using proper, or let's say contextual, contextual vocabulary, vocabulary expressing ideas, ideas, emotions, or feelings, feeling. These are the ways of expressing, I mean, speaking, all these skills you need to mention. But it starts shortly, start teaching speaking. Uh, so involves those different activities. And beside this, make a list of mention, second part, directly go right to three sentences only for the first part. So mention, Make a list of all the activities. Those activities like discussion, role play, right? Information gap activities, just picture describing, whatever we discuss, make a list of all. And out of them, so describe. Third part here, describe. Describe any three. Any three. The most important thing is to list one out of the 
out of this list, list manager, for example, if you have made a list there of and uh, picture narrating, so when a picture narrating, you can write. And for example, number one, you, you make a list of A, B, C, so many activities are there you have gone through. So that's why, like you, you make a list of all. And so for you are writing answer for secondary level. So the activity, some of the activities are, I mean, you can make a list of all the activities which are relevant to the secondary level. But while writing, your activity should be uh, reflected like all the activities you are doing for appropriate for the secondary level. Then only you get uh, good marks. For example, picture describing. If it is there, picture describing. If you are going to, how do you use this activity for teaching and speaking? Means, see, as it is pedagogy, right? From the pedagogic section, what do you need to do for, for the pedagogic section? Or you have to write, what is it? First, write what is picture describing. Shortly write. If you you don't need to give explanation here, shortly write and write process. How do you use? Means process of using. And give one example. This is the writing techniques because you have your own language. So whatever you are describing, three activities include these three components while writing your answer or sorry, writing, explaining or describing any activity. For example, picture describing. What is picture describing? How picture describing can be used in the class? And you need to give one example. So in this way, you have to write your answer. So. Did I help you? Hello, everyone. Am I helping you? Please write there. Are you getting idea how to write an answer? Dhurva mm Kharka. So will be available within 15 days, okay? The books will be available within 15 days. When the book is available, we'll let you know, right? Mm, well, I did um, means like I was trying to work on others. Uh, let's, but maybe the example of picture describing. For example, I mean, it's up to you, like how you bring the picture describing. For example, what is there in the picture? You can ask, for example, teacher can give some question. For example, the picture is about, uh, picture is about, uh, some images and teacher can ask uh, what uh, what is your opinion or what uh, did you know about this picture or what message do you take with the picture or something like teacher can ask so remember always but the the it depends upon the the objective aim of teaching right Ritura so very clear. So, so will your book arrival in book? Uh, yes, it goes uh, throughout country. Well, let me so share the answer. See, teaching and speaking involves uh, different activities. So shortly mention your answer with a short paragraph. And uh, see. Speaking refers to express one's ideas, emotions, and feeling through oral medium. See, right. Out of the four skills of language, speaking is considered as the productive skill. While teaching is speaking to our students, what do we have to do? That right all. So we have to consider many technical aspects. Teacher has to provide maximum opportunity to students to speak the target language. Teacher has to reduce teacher speaking time in class and teacher has to increase the students speaking time. So he or she has to involve students into different activities, not only in uh, class, but also out of the class while teaching and speaking, the following activities can be employed. See, mm, well, 
for skill of language, consider productive skills. Let's write a few things here. Mm. Yes, it is teaching and speaking. The question is teaching and speaking. So that's fine. The, these are the activities what we could uh, do. Uh, simply, it's not a speaking skills. That's why, uh, anyway, teaching is speaking. Uh, next part, where you make a list of all the activities. The following activities can be apply can be applied for teaching and speaking. So discussion, role play, simulation, information gap, stripe story, or chain story. Some others were asking. So story completion, make a list of all. And explain any three. So this question is asking about explain any three. See, just let me. So this my computer is not responding. I don't know. See, you need to write uh, three things. Remember, you can write in your own language. Stor storytelling, interview, and uh, picture narrating are the three uh, activities mentioned here. So remember always uh, what things you need to include, what is it, and your process, and giving example. So here, here I'm going to present uh, only three activities that are that an ELT teacher can use for teaching speaking. For example, storytelling, how storytelling can be used in the class, storytelling. So storytelling is the process of, uh, you know, uh, process of sharing uh, the recently heard story or uh, the story which is uh, shared by the teacher in the classroom. So students uh, later on, they, they share. So storytelling posters the critical thinking is skill. Storytelling is an activity in WIS because students, they have to speak for, for telling a story. So activity which students are asked to present any short story they have heard. So this is the most interesting and one of the most powerful activities for developing students' uh, speaking skills. The teacher can play any story in the classroom. First teacher can play in the classroom with the listening, audio, or he or she can ask the students and briefly summarize this story they have heard. Similarly, teacher also can ask students to tell a story in the classroom they have heard from I mean, somebody beforehand at home or with somebody, they have recently heard about it. So teacher also can ask them to tell a story in the classroom, or I mean, they may create their own stories to tell their classroom. So likewise, teacher divides the student into different pairs or groups and ask them to discuss and tell the story in the classroom. So this is one way teacher can do, or sometimes there are not the way of concrete examples, so, so interviews. So interview is another activity that can foster the student's speaking activity, speaking skill. So interview is a process for making discourse between two or more than two people in a topic, particular topic. So some, uh, I mean, two, they involve in a discourse, speaking discourse, spoken discourse. So it is another most important activity of teaching speaking that can foster speaking ability in students. So teacher's major role in interviewing is to provide context. So first of all, teacher has to create context or the situation in which situation they are going to speak or teacher gives the role to the speakers. So for which a teacher, he or she has to give particular exponents. So teacher has to give exponent. You have to use this language structure and you can speak. So students can conduct interview on selected topics with various people, I mean, with their friends, let's say, not with various people, with, uh, with their partner, with their... See, it is a good idea that the teacher provides a rubrics to the students. So rubrics means what word they have to use while speaking, or which grammatical item they have to use, if they use how much marks they get, something like that. It's a kind of a 
setting criterion for or getting marks so that students use this um, and then they get marks. So it is a good idea so that they know and the type of question they can ask or into how many exchange this, um, I mean, exponents are to be exchanged, one, multiple, double, like that. So they follow and the students should present their own interview question. For example, one student is a traffic police, I mean, teacher can give her, uh, gives a rule for one and other, other is a pedestrian. Pedestrian or motorist will be, I mean, will give, uh, right. So one will ask question, I mean, pedestrian will ask question to the traffic police and traffic police officer will respond about the rule, rules of driving, safety driving and something like that. So for example, a student says, can you tell me some, I mean, some road safety rules for pedestrian and traffic says, you should always walk on the left side of the road is one way. I mean, you simply give an expert only, right? Some prompts, not a longer one, because you, you, you don't have your time, I mean, writing long stories. So picture narrating. So this is another interesting techniques, you, interesting technique. Uh, used for developing language skills, especially in the students through speaking. So ma the major role of the teacher in this technique is to bring some sequential picture. So picture narrating. Students are telling stories through pictures. So in the classroom, so teacher has to divide the whole class into different groups or pairs and ask them to narrate those scenes based on the pictures in the right, right order. Uh, divides the whole class into different groups or pairs and ask them to, let's say, to um, arrange, arrange those, arrange those pictures, pictures in, um, in sequential. Sequential, sequential order and narrate those scenes based on the pictures they have kept in the right order like this. So for giving example, there should be some pictures or something like that. No need to give uh, examples here. So in this way, you can write, mm, it is better to off the video Hello, who is that? I don't know anything because when while presenting, I cannot see anyone else. Someone is writing very awkwardly. Someone is dozing off. So I don't know, like, hello, please be gentle in the classroom. I don't know, like, I should not tell to the educated people, teachers, like this kind of moral value kind of things. It's very, I mean, I feel uncomfortable. So at least, who is this? So fine, I think this is the person, I don't know. So if I did justice or not, I don't know. I just removed someone. So fine. Oh, well, don't open videos if you are there with your some Acquired. So, uh, situation. So, number third question. See there. What kind of teaching materials do you use for teaching speaking? What kind of teaching materials do you use for teaching speaking? Is the third question. And what problems of teaching speaking are prevailing in the context of Nepal? Or what strategies do you apply to overcome such problems? So, this is another important question for examination point of view. See. Uh, can I use a map as a teaching materials in a describing picture? Yeah, you can use, no way, just a map. You can use, but for what purpose you can use it is, so students at least they can involve in interaction, discussion, speaking, fine. It is up to you, right? If they can use. So let's go. Can you think some of the materials? So be very specific with the question. What kind of teaching materials do you use for teaching speaking? Some teaching materials. What can be? So if this question is, is asked, 
don't start what is teaching speaking <laughs> so where if you write a two paragraphs about teaching speaking you will not get any marks what i mean to say is question is asking about what kind of teaching materials do you apply or use for teaching speaking so you can directly start your answer in this way there are different materials so or you can begin your answer in this way. Teaching speaking cannot be meaningful or fruitful without using materials. You can start your direct answer in this way. Or I mean, like teaching can be more fruitful when the teacher applies materials. Without adopting or using materials, the vague concept of language cannot be developed any students or key students cannot conceptualize so that they can not express their linguistic ability rather than they become puzzled or perplexed so they do they never uh, show confidence in speaking so to eradicate their hesitation in speaking what we need to do is we have to employ different language facilitating materials in the classroom for teaching speaking and what are those materials simply write those few lines yourself and make a list like what are so dialogue can be one example remember one example dialogue or dialogue can be one material right Mm, sometimes what we can give sentence starter sentence starters what does this mean sir i do not understand some of you may be asking sentence starters i mean teacher begins with some half sentences or begins with a, a few lines students they need to continue this one Today, this morning, I went to. I mean, up to this point, the sentences are there. I mean, I mean, this is a very simple example I'm giving for the middle schools. For secondary level, you can think of the a bit advanced, not the advanced, but appropriate level. Um, sentence starters can be prompt examples can be. So, can you think? Hello, can any somebody write? There's some materials in question number three. It is not necessary to describe teaching and speaking. This is the major problems of students. That's why I'm telling from the very beginning, never. So out of 70% students, so while going through um, the answer, so question is one side, they always write the other thing. So why do you need to write about teaching and speaking? Don't write about teaching speaking. Writing teaching speaking, you do not get marks. So means write about teaching speaking, but connect the importance of teaching using materials for teaching speaking. Then only you get marks. Please remember those. I mean these very important things. So this is the problem of many students. So question is one side and answer. They begin from their own anecdote, their experiences, like. So you cannot complete all the questions if you start doing this. It is, uh, this is 10 marks question. Simply you are exploring some pedagogical ideas with your innovative um, explorations should be explored in your answer sheet, right? You are not writing any longer thesis or essay writing kind of things for, I mean, universities, uh, degrees, examination, like for 20 marks or longer. You are not doing like that, remember. So be practical and your practical innovation should be reflected. Otherwise, and right, you need to. Can you think some other materials? Hello? Some audios we can bring. Simply you have seen audio visuals. We can bring some audio visuals, right? Because we can simply share one story or play some stories or yeah. And then after this, they will speak about it. it. Means this can be materials. If material is supporting for the students, this is material. Hello, can some other relevant picture? Good. Role play games. Games can be. Role play is not a material, by the way. <laughs> Cute dialogues. I have written already dialogues there. No need to repeat it again. 
relevant pictures this is fine pictures this is fine anyway you can write so let's go start your answer in this way and then second so i mean i'm shortly i'm simply helping out to how to write answer only shortly begin your answer in this way oh teaching speaking skill cannot be meaningful or relevant uh, if we do not employ the appropriate appropriate materials for postering or developing for developing the teaching speaking skill history cannot be meaningful or relevant or fruitful let's say if we do not apply the appropriate materials or what you can write so different so materials for teaching and speaking always facilitates facilitates our learners learners who develop their linguistic or develop facilitate learners to develop their facilitates our learners to uh, conceptualize the complex concept and uh, develop their basic speaking skill see at least start your answer in this way what i mean to say and then only make a list of sentence card very good Urvasi, right. Classroom materials could be fruitful. What, what are classroom materials? If you cannot mm, clarify the concept, abstract things sometimes uh, may puzzle or it cannot uh, give concrete ideas. So remember, and, it, and then you make a list of all these materials. The following are the materials you write in this way and the problem, you can explore some problems or challenges, issues. Issues in the context of Nepal, issues of teaching, speaking in the context of Nepal are as follow. For example, teaching is speaking, but directly don't make a list. There is also technique of writing, remember, right? So for example, what you have to do is uh, teaching is speaking has become a very difficult Tax for many teachers in the context of Nepal. Our teachers are not adopting these, or sorry, teachers are not taking speaking tests. Or so, so many um, stakeholders blame teachers or the students. They have they lack the spoken discourse. And many teachers are facing, many teachers and students are facing difficulties in teaching, learning, speaking. Some of the burning problems in the context of Nepal are Nebola list out Gurnos. Teachers, English language teacher. Is that fine, everyone? Well, and remember, so, and you are making list. What are the problems? Problems of teaching and speaking due to or lack of, lack of students, linguistic knowledge one problem students cannot speak so what are what are the problems there in the context of nepal highlight all those within with this point lack of linguistic knowledge 
like this, others, lack of resources, materials, right? Teachers do not employ communicative language teaching. Teachers do not use communicative language teaching. So, I have a complete answer. 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 I have a interference of GT methods, which like you can write. So make a list of all, you know? And then what you can do, last part is what strategies do you apply to overcome such problems? What do we have to do? The same thing you can write, teacher has to use, so teacher has to apply these principles. First question, so teaching techniques, principles and approaches, write same and write some of the activities so we can apply these different activities for teaching speaking oh you junjun problem or like jahan ji bhane cha tesai la support hune gari lekhi dinu hola so this is all about let's go hey hello am i helping you out for writing answer or not hello everyone are you with me or not or getting confused please write clearly hey for example See how you have to write answer for this question. First of all, you have to read whole question and underline what kind of teaching materials. First of all, you are writing about teaching materials. So underline this keyword, first part. Second part, problem of teaching speaking. You are highlighting this, underline this part. And third part, strategies to employ. Uh, I mean, strategies you are writing about, teaching strategies to overcome the problem. So overcome the problem. So these are the things, these are the uh, key points you need to underline so that you can make your answer so very specific. Rukmani Subedi, we're well receiving, sir. So yes, sir, you explaining is really wonderful. So explaining, writing techniques, explaining the song also. So how to write answer technical. I mean, this is the most important part. What I'm supporting you today is writing skills. So remember, so you start your answer in this way. Teaching and speaking can be effective and meaningful when we adopt some authentic teaching materials. So don't give, so what is teaching and speaking? Many students write in that this way, like that's why. And without application of those materials, we cannot foster speaking skills in our learners. So hence, every English language teacher has to use such materials for Developing speaking skill in students. There are several materials that can be used for teaching speaking skills at the secondary level. Some of them are, now make a list of them. So no need to go either and the, either and the other kind of things. So some, someone was saying either and the other. So see, no either and the other, right? So remember, so textbook and workbook. So we can adopt textbook and workbooks uh, for teaching and speaking as materials, uh, picture and um, different scenarios, different scenes we can bring. So role plays and dialogues can be, dialogue along with the role play we can bring together. So simply role play cannot be uh, materials, but including dialogue, so this can be material. So what role they are going to take? So see, and conversation cards or discussion prompts we can bring. This can be material, supplementary materials, discussion prompts and conversation starters, sentence starter, that means, which I already shared you the ideas, audio, visual materials, games and activities, vocabulary and grammar exercises. What we bring, so stepping on these students speak, they have to speak something. So these are, and present them, Presentation tasks. When we give a small tax and they have to present in a written form, so this can be materials. So feedback and assessment tool. I mean, all these uh, materials are written form. So, but students they have to present in orally. Remember always. So now make a list of challenges. There are many challenges that the English language teachers and students are facing during teaching and speaking in the context of Nepal. Some of the burning issues prevailing in the context of Nepal. In our Nepalese classroom, ELT classroom are, see, 
Excessive use of mother tongue, GT method, hegemony or interference of GT method is one of the problems. So lack of students exposure means they are not getting exposure. I mean, they, are, they lack uh, linguistic expressions or they have, um, they do not expose well. So lack of proper English environment in our classroom due to large classroom teachers are unable to employ different activities and lack of practice of speaking and due to teachers a poor English background. So this has also created a dangerous situation in the context of Nepal. So teachers, um, I mean, should be the role model, but they are not generating proper English so and rather so i mean we can find this so due to syllabus examination system so whenever you are writing the problems always write with a three level individual level practice level and policy level so on availability of the authentic teaching learning materials for example this is the era of 21st century so we need to add up different ict related tools and own resource classroom so teachers are not provided with sufficient materials. So lack of students' motivation towards learning, that means teacher does not employ communicative language teaching. So, which is not mentioned here, teachers do not use our, let's say lack of, lack of using communicative or learner center. activities. So this does not post us the students motivation in learning and our examination. There is a defect or some loopholes are there in examination system. No strong monitoring mechanism system is there. So full marks, um, I mean, for practical speaking, 15 marks, teachers are sending to the examination control office. But in fact, they do not conduct any speaking test or rather, right, the, this is what happening. So you can highlight this part as well. So what can we do to overcome those problems? So highlight the same thing. So if we have identified the aforementioned list of the problems in our classroom, we can take some practical measures to overcome such challenges. Some of the activities that we can apply are, so see what we can do, make a list of them. All, what teacher has to do? Teacher has to use the learner-centered community method in teaching number one. So teacher, teacher can maximize the use of inductive method of teaching English. So they means here teacher. Teacher have, teachers have to provide appropriate input or techniques for teaching speaking. Use language in authentic ways, contextual, relevant, about having no grammatical errors. That's why that um, always supports uh, students to learn language better. To create atmosphere where learners feel they are learning in real context. So strength tasks best activities are required always. When we give a small tax where they need to communicate or interact at that time. So teaching and speaking means students are speaking in the classroom. I mean, teacher doesn't speak. So teacher has to create environment, different tasks should be provided for them so that the students ultimately uh, involves in speaking. And that, um, I mean, eventually students learn how we speak. So and strengthening and monitoring supervision policies should be strictly so applied and how many tests are taken or how these speaking activities are conducted. So record keeping system should be established. That's why observing the classroom, something like that. So this should be established. So use of modern methods of blending ICT related tools in the language teachings is necessary. So materials, so use of um, different teaching materials, those materials which we mentioned above should be used and practical kind of teaching must be adopted. Use of modern methods of blending ICT, material supports from the government to enhance the so different materials should be adopted and teaching and uh, speaking should be applied. So try to involve each and every speaking activity for with the objective practical ideas and so better participation, equal participation with the students. Teacher has to reduce the speaking time, but teacher ha has to provide the opportunity to the students to speak. That's why and teacher always should sit at the back and observe the students' activities and teacher has to support. So indicate positive signs when 
commenting to the students, you are doing great. Yes, that's fine. Fantastic. Go ahead. If teacher encourages with those remarks to the students, these are the reinforcement for the students. So encouraging remarks always, constructive feedbacks always motivates students to speak. We should not uh, I mean, discourage our learners. So do not correct the students' pronunciation. If they have, so it, language learning is the, uh, I mean, different uh, part. So let's, we will talk about pronunciation in its uh, topic. So we should, for, we should not focus on this. So we have to um, ignore. If it is half a jar, if it is acquired or it is not message giving that time, we need to remind, otherwise there it be and provide vocabulary beforehand so that exponents should be provided beforehand so that they use and speak. And we need to diagnose the problem faced by the students where they are having difficulties at that time, we can help them. So with this last question, by the way, somebody was presenting today. I mean, still there are two more questions. So, so today we didn't get sufficient time to present. So please, uh, I just stop here. Uh, but there are some important things for you as uh, those who are joining today. There are some information. So this much for today. If you have any queries, you can ask of me. Uh, if those kind of question, you don't have to write conclusion. Someone is writing conclusion. It's not necessary. If the question is asking about opinion best, you can write a conclusion. Otherwise, let it be. Fine. No need. Every time if you start with the introduction, long introduction, long conclusion, when you include the content and you will get good marks. Remember this kind of thing. So if the question is opinion based, if the question is asking your um, I mean, rational or your opinion, judgment. That time you have to give a strong verdict or your thesis statement at the at the end with better conclusion. This is the style of writing. I'll help how in what context you have to write conclusion. So with this, uh, I am just going to stop today's class. Please, uh, uh, we'll discuss uh, other two questions and new topic reading tomorrow. With this, I just stop today's class here. Or if you write an answer for this question, I'll give chance for anyone to present your answer. So I have written answer, I almost, I am just sharing. Um, you can take ideas. So that's all. Thank you. Sir, I'm going to ask you sir. Uh, <laughs> so Saturday, take a Satellite <laughs> Family, 
सारे एक घंटा जति चाहिँ हामी क्वेशन भन्दाले जुन टपिक छ त्यसमा प्रवेश गर्छ र आधी घंटाको जुन टाइम पछि भइरहेको छ त्यसमा चाहिँ तपाईहरुबाट चाहिँ छलफल किसिमको चाहिँ त्यति सिद्धि जाने छ र त्यसै गरेर चाहिँ जो साथीहरु तपाईहरु चाहिँ अ एडमिसन चाहनु हुन्छ त्यो साथीहरुले गर्न सक्नुहुन्छ र शनिबार शनिबार चाहिँ हामीले एग्जाम गर्ने गरेका हुन्छौ शनिबार शनिबार तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ हामीले चाहिँ अ क्वेशन चाहिँ शुक्रबार क्वेशन चाहिँ दिने र त्यसपछि हामीले चाहिँ शनिबार चाहिँ तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ शनिबार चाहिँ तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ एग्जाम चाहिँ गराउने गर्छ र त्यसको नमुना आन्सर पनि यहाँहरुमा चाहिँ आउने नै छ साथीहरुले त्यो जानकारी गराउन चाहे र शुल्कको विषयमा चाहिँ हाम्रो 4000 रुपैयाँ चाहिँ शुल्क रहेको छ आ त्यसमा पनि अब तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ जो साथीहरु एडमिसन गर्न चाहनुहुन्छ भोलि सम्मको लागि हामीले यो 3000 रुपैयाँ चाहिँ शुल्क राखेका छौ तर साथीहरुले चाहिँ के गर्न बुझ्नु होला भनेपछि यो भोलि सम्म भन्ने बित्तिकै मैले हिजो पनि दोहोर्याएको थिए यो चाहिँ साथीहरुको चाहिँ कस्तो हुँदो रहेछ भनेपछि जत यो तपाईहरुको बेलुका बेलुका जस्तो जस्तो भयो त्यस्तो जस्तो तपाईहरु चाहिँ तातिने है अनि आपु खाली उदाहरण से कॉलेज डॉगर ने अनि बिल का बिल का जो सोचते बॉय हैं तेरी खेल से चार इंच चाय अन्नी वो तेरे सोचे डॉगर दौला तब यार समय में एडमिशन होने वाला तब यार जो तेरे टाइम मिल जाए तेरे खेल कॉल करना एडमिशन करने वाला अरे बिल का कच्चा सब बने बिते के छह बजे ही कच्चा सब पांच � तपाईहरुको दर्ता गर्नुपर्ने प्रक्रियाहरु हुन्छ त्यसमा चाहिँ अलिकति अप्ठ्यारो हुन्छ तपाईहरुलाई केही ढिलो हुन सक्ला सो सबै नै एडमिसन गर्नु होला अनि भोलि एडमिसन गर्ने साथीहरुले तपाईहरुले मात्र 3000 रुपैयाँ शुल्क पेमेन्ट गरेर तपाईहरु जोइन हुन सक्नुहुन्छ नोटहरु सबै आउँछ नोटहरु सबै आउँछ त्यसको टेन्सन नलिनुस् है र एडमिसन गर्नको लागि तपाईहरुले यो दिएको अकाउन्ट डिटेलहरु तपाईहरुले यहाँ देख्न सक्नुहुन्छ यो अकाउन्ट डिटेलमा तपाईहरुले पेमेन्ट गरेर तपाईहरुले कक्षामा चाहिँ जोइन हुन सक्नुहुन्छ यसमा पेमेन्ट गर्ने अनि त्यसपछि तुरुन्तै हामीलाई चाहिँ कल गर्ने है पेमेन्ट गर्ने र तुरुन्तै हामीलाई चाहिँ यसरी चाहिँ कल गर्ने यो हाम्रो नम्बरहरु यहाँ राखिएको छ यो नम्बरहरुमा चाहिँ तपाईहरुले कल गर्न सक्नुहुनेछ साथीहरुलाई त्यो जानकारी गराउन चाहन्छु र यदि अझै पनि तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ कुनै किसिमको जिज्ञासा त्यस्तो कुनै किसिमको समस्या छ भनेपछि कृपया साथीहरुले कॉल करना सकते हैं जहाँ हम लोग नंबर आ दिए कुछ तो नंबर में कॉल करना होगा पीरियड मज़ा है पीरियड करना मिलता है पीरियड करना मिलता है तो इसमें कैसा मज़ा चाहिए ना तो करना होगा आज लाइज़ ही हम यार छोटे इंसान बोली देखी नेम इच्छे सर में यार जो पेट साथी यार होने चाहिए वो आर संग पक्के ने बैठ होने चाहिए 